Hi, my name is Diego and I'm from CypherCore, the makers of LoginTC. In this video, we will show you how to add LoginTC strong authentication to your Microsoft logon and remote desktop authentications. I recommend to follow along this video with our online documentation. Please see the video description for a list of relevant links. Log into the LoginTC admin panel online to get started with the installation process. Click Domains and then click Create for your first domain. Enter a relevant name and pick an icon for your domain. Your users will see the name and icon each time they authenticate. Click Create to cr complete this step. You now have a domain ready to be used for LoginTC authentication. Now create a user and test your configuration. Go to the Administration panel, and from the Domains tab, click your newly created domain. Scroll down and click Create Member. The username must match the username in your Active Directory, or SAM account name. Then enter their full name, their email address, and click Create. Now issue a token so that the user can authenticate with LoginTC. An email with instructions on how to load a token is usually sent to users. For this video, the token will be issued without an email. Load the new token on your test device. Launch the LoginTC app, click Add Token, and enter the activation code you see in the administration panel. Click Next and click Add. Now the user has a token for your LoginTC domain and will be able to authenticate against any service you protect with LoginTC. Click the user to confirm the token is loaded. Now click Test Token to open the Test Token modal. Click Send Notification. A simulated request will be sent to your device. Approve the request to confirm authentication is working. Now install the LoginTC Windows Logon and RDP connector. First download the latest version of the LoginTC Windows Logon and RDP connector. See the video description for a list of relevant links. First we will modify one key setting on your LoginTC domain. Navigate to the LoginTC admin panel and click on your domain. Click Settings. Scroll down to Normalize Usernames and select Yes, Normalize Usernames. Usernames in Windows Logon are typically in the form corp slash John Doe, while in the LoginTC admin panel, it is generally more convenient to simply use John Doe. By enabling normalized usernames, the users will simply be treated by their username and not their down-level logon name. Scroll down and click Update. Your LoginTC domain is now ready to be used with Microsoft Logon and RDP. Now launch the LoginTC Windows Logon and RDP Connector Installer on the target machine as an administrator. Click Run and then Next. Review the End User License Agreement, then click Accept, and then Next. Use the default cloud.logintc.com LoginTC API host. Click Next. Retrieve your Application ID and Application API key from the LoginTC admin panel. Navigate to Applications and click on your Microsoft Windows Logon and RDP application. Copy the application ID and paste it. Next, copy the application API key and paste it. Click Next. By default, the LoginTC Windows Logon and RDP connector is enabled for RDP access only. That means that local logon will remain unchallenged by LoginTC. If you wish to challenge both RDP and local logon, then unselect RDP only. In this video, we will unselect RDP only and demonstrate the various ways users are challenged. Click Next. Installation is now ready to commence. Click Install. Click Finish. In order for LoginTC to begin challenging users, a restart is necessary. You can use this time to modify the registry and configure pass-through to challenge specific users 
or users part of an Active Directory group. You can also configure bypassing specific users or bypassing users part of an Active Directory group. Please see the pass-through section in the documentation for more information. Click Yes to restart your machine and ensure the Login TC Windows Logon connector will take effect. Now test the LoginTC Windows Logon and RDP connector. There are three ways in which the user can be challenged. The first way is from a remote desktop connection. Launch the remote desktop connection app. Enter the user's password. Now, when the user connects to the remote desktop, you will be prompted with various configured methods to authenticate with LoginTC. Click Send Me a Request to receive a notification on your device. Tap Approve to complete the authentication request. Users can now access the Windows machine using the Remote Desktop Connection app securely using LoginTC multi-factor authentication. The second way is directly logging into the Windows machine. Press Ctrl Alt Delete. Enter the user's password. You will now be prompted with various configured methods to authenticate with Login TC. Click Send Me a Request to receive a notification on your device. Tap Approve to complete the authentication request. Users can now access the Windows machine securely using Login TC multi factor authentication. The third way is logging into the Windows machine when that machine does not have an internet connection, for example, a laptop on an airplane. Here we will disable internet and log in using local logon. Press Ctrl Alt Delete. Enter the user's password. Login TC will automatically detect that there is no network connectivity and display a different set of options. The user would have had to log on at least once online in order for these options to be available. Select the Login TC app QR scan method, and a QR code will be displayed. Launch the Login TC app, click the gear icon, and then select Scan QR Code. Scan the QR code and enter the six digit Login TC passcode presented. Click Login to continue. Users can now access the Windows machine securely using Login TC multi factor authentication, even when that machine is offline. 